Swimming. Where are you just going? We are now uh, two in a row and both in Scandinavia as yeah. well. Uh, how are you feeling to get the victory tonight? Just awesome, you know, it's the crowd in there makes the whole difference. It's it's amazing. And uh, Macy was undefeated. What did you think of her in there? And, and take us through the fight. How, how would you uh, how would you uh, explain? Uh, how would you break it down? Uh, I would say that uh, that it's quite clear that I have the most experience in there you know I have like 100 Thai boxing fights before that so uh, or before starting MMA so you know like losing the first round didn't bother me you know it's I'm kind of a slow starter and it feels totally okay you know to just feel her out take it slow to start with and then just bring it on in the in the later rounds and I just felt stronger you know and my ground game and my takedowns was a lot better than hers what was that, that sort of click between the first and second round? Because it was like you came out and it was completely, it was like you figured it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I just think that, yeah, as I said, I'm a, I'm a slow starter. I just, you know, take it slow to start with, feel her out. Then I just know what it, what she can bring, you know, and then just makes it easier. On the broadcast, there was shown the situation between round and two, round three, uh, in the corner of Lacey. Uh, uh, he said like Lena please I would like to go and eat buffet and I don't know <laughs> no just you know they, they they know me so well you know they uh, they just took it slow they they know me they know that I can bring much more than that um, and they they asked me to work with my head better uh, as I know I had to do and also to turn around faster and just keep the pressure and it's pretty much it. I haven't really thought about it you know I, I would like to go somewhere far away Australia maybe would be nice <laughs> something like that uh, but I need some some vacation first. Känns det som att du är bättre än någonsin? Ja, absolut. Det måste jag säga. Det är verkligen saker som, som klickar. Jag älskar känslan av att saker bara händer utan att jag liksom har någon... Det är ingen fördröjning. Det är inte så att jag behöver tänka på vad som ska hända utan saker bara händer. Och det är en fantastisk känsla. So these two past fights have been very, very impressive. It's just you know better and better competition and better, better performances. What, what's changed for you? Because it definitely seems like we see just a stronger, happier, just healthier than one. Uh, I think that that's it, you know, I, I am more happy, I travel around more, I go and train with other women, other places, uh, and everything is just more fun, you know, and my coaches, they really, you know, they take care of me and they take, you know, equal responsibility, some of them, uh, a little bit more people involved, it's easier for, for everybody, and yeah, I, I am more happy, definitely. Jack, Jack Hermansson, uh, he's amazing. Uh, Jack is like you know, I've known him for for a while now. We we fought in Cage Warriors together so many years ago, and he was always you know so happy. When you when you meet him at first, it's quite difficult to understand that he's fighting because he's just so nice and so happy, and you like want to hug him, you know. Uh, and he's a badass, you know, it's so nice to see him fight because it's so much energy and he's, he's really something else. He will yeah. definitely win that one. The atmosphere sounded great out there. Did it um, contribute a lot to the performance? Definitely. Uh, it means the world to me. It's like, you know, it's so hard to describe the feeling walking into a crowd like that. You know, it's. I can't compare it to, to anything else. I need to get children or something to, to be able to do that, I guess. After your last fight, you said that you were interested in a rematch with Aspen Lad. Is that still on your mind or do you have somebody else in the place? She's definitely on my mind. When would you like to get back in there? Obviously you've had, uh, I think, two fights this year. When, when would yeah. make sense for you next? Uh, in the beginning of next year, maybe something like that. I would like to have like four, four, six, eight weeks to relax without being without being booked for a fight. I think. And how active would you like to be you know, going into next year? Uh, I, I would like to stay active definitely mm -hmm. and I'm always training but mentally I need to, to be just 
just to chill out, you know. Otherwise, I'm just thinking about the next performance all the time, and that can be can be stressful. So, ice cream, red wine, and family. <laughs> How will you celebrate tonight? My family is here, and as I said, red wine. Akira like has promised me some red wine. <laughs> I, <laughs> he wants to eat in this buffet. <laughs> we'll see about that. Uh, I will just, you know, I will relax, you know, hang out with my family and friends and just enjoy the moment. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.